Assalamu alaikum dear students uh, Today we will be discussing essay writing in detail and in this lecture the first thing that we will be discussing is the definition of an essay what is essay then we will talk about how to select a topic of your essay if you have given a choice and then we will be talking about uh, the structure of an essay which is usually everybody knows it introduction uh, body and conclusion and the most important step of this lecture is uh, how to make an outline of uh, an essay uh, usually the CSSPMA students when they appear in these competitive exam they are asked in their papers to uh, make an outline and usually they are very much concerned with outline of an essay and then they write their essay uh, so with our lecture first of all introduction to essay writing what is essay the word essay means to attempt now definition of an essay is essay is an attempt to compose the relevant ideas in correct concise comprehensive and concrete way look at the first definition essay is an attempt to compose to combine relevant ideas the ideas that are related to each other and that are relevant to the topic of your essay all these sentences this writing these ideas must be presented in correct form, concise form, comprehensive, understandable form and concrete form. Then we can say another definition is uh, essay is just a literary composition. It is a composition of any given topic and another definition uh, that essay is something, it is essay is to write anything about something. This is a definition from my side. Then and an essay cannot be attractive unless you do not give lightness, grace and ease. It is you who make the reader read your essay. Now this is what essay is. It is very easy to write anything about something, to attempt something, to compose something, to gather relevant ideas about a single thought. Selection of the topic is the most important step in essay writing. If you have given some choices, there are usually two types of topics. One is general topic. For example, we have uh, Pakistan, democracy, uh, population, education, and one is that specific topic, which is specified. For example, education in Pakistan, politics in Pakistan, the status of women in Islam, it is very specific to the points. Uh, there is no rule for restriction to choose the topic. It uh, totally depends on your understanding of the topic. The more you know about a topic, you can choose that topic. It is easy, but there is a general rule that is, although general topics, general topics are comparatively easy than specific topics because you have liberty to, to write anything at least. You can gather around many, many ideas. In specific uh, topics, you go into specific details and which is sometimes difficult for a writer to uh, search and research. Then, understanding of the topic is very, very significant and important because the words of a topic are very important in order to recognize the real sense of the examiner or of the paper setter or whatever, whoever that may be. Look at these topics, the status of women in Islam, indifference of an attitude, being a child is no child's play, my views about the politics, poverty of civil society. If you are writing an essay about uh, the status of women in Islam, you must, you must know what is the status of women generally and what is the status of women in Islam and you must know what are those rights that Islam gives to women in Islamic society. And then indifference of attitude, you must know the indifference and attitude, you must know the difference between behavior and attitude, then you must know about the effects of indifference and of attitude and you also must know that whether the essay I am attempting it is argumentative 
it is narrative or descriptive if it is descriptive then you cannot narrate a story if it is a narrative essay you cannot describe things if it is argumentative you can argue a point you will argue a point you will support your argument and you will convince the reader so you must know the words of an essay or of the topic you must know the topic and then attempt the topic choose the subject you know the best if you know my views about politics is easy then being a child is no child's play attempt my views about politics it is it is it is totally based on your understanding of the topic now the general rules for an essay there are three general rules the rules of unity the rules of coherence and the rules of proportion unity first of all the rule of unity must applies to the structure of paragraph and sentences your every sentence and every paragraph must be connected with each other and it must make one organic whole that is related to your topic you must not include anything irrelevant then coherence there must be thematic integrity there must be connection in the meaning the logical order of the events must be there because if things are not logically constructed the reader will not catch your point and then it will be very difficult for a reader to understand what are you talking so first thing first second thing second third thing third you must be chronologically logically uh, uh, explaining the ideas in your essay and then proportion usually the students ask how much introduction should i write how much paragraph should i include in the body it 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 depends on your knowledge it depends on the time that has been allotted for essay writing it depends on the uh, uh, the, the the value of uh, of the idea it depends on how much significant the idea is Uh, you must know how much should i write in introduction because because uh, you cannot write two three pages in introduction it is maximum one page and it is a, a single paragraph usually and in body you locate your topic if you need 10 paragraphs in your body you can include it if you need 20 paragraphs it is just to convince the reader the time you come to know that you have convinced the reader it is you, your proportion is all good okay. then we are uh, now discussing structure of an essay everybody knows that there are three main parts of an essay introduction body and conclusion let's discuss introduction uh, a bit further the introduction guides the reader into your paper by grabbing attention and introducing the topic an introduction of an essay generally tells the reader that what he is going to read in the body an introduction would consider good if it rivets the reader's attention and suggest him the general aim of the essay an introduction should be short maximum one page an introduction should be striking and relevant to the subject and the last introduction should lead to the subject without any unnecessary delay or digression now look at this these are specific things first introduction must catch the reader the attention of the reader otherwise he will not read your essay it must introduce the topic if you are not introducing anything in your introduction it is useless then your reader must know that okay after this introduction i'll read all these things in the body of your my of this essay then it's short it must be striking and relevant to the subject and there must be no digression in your introduction the thing is how to write introduction now this is where you must know how to write introduction okay there are three different methods uh, of writing introduction of an essay direct method indirect method and full statement method okay direct method is 
identify the keywords and begin with them. For example, your topic is status of Islam. You can start writing by status of women. You can start writing by uh, uh, by explaining Islam. And you can start writing uh, with the word women. It is, you can start with any word, keyword of your topic. This is direct method. The indirect method is you do not start writing with uh, uh, the words of your topic. Uh, you do not start like this. You take uh, a start like uh, you present a story, you present a quotation, you narrate an, uh, an, uh, an event, uh, a statement, and then you connect that story or saying or quotation with your topic and with your argument. This is indirect method. Then there is a full statement method. Start with complete statement which supports your topic. For example, status of women in Islam. You can, Islam gives high status to women at every step of life. It is full statement method. These are three different ways the, you can write introduction. Now, the most important thing in introduction is the thesis statement. You know, you must know how to write thesis statement. A thesis statement is simply an argument that you are going to prove. It is the roadmap for your essay and it explains to the reader exactly what you will discuss in your paper. The, the thesis statement will be the last sentence in your introduction paragraph. It is usually the last. Okay, a basic thesis statement contains the topic and one to three main points to support the topic. For example, if the topic is about culture of Pakistan, you can write the culture of Pakistan has a long history, blends traditions from several other cultures and provides a rich heritage. This is your thesis statement. It is always written in introduction. It must be very much strong so that the reader must read your essay. Now let's discuss the main body of the essay. Body is just the combination of paragraphs. It contains facts, illustrations, reflections that support your topic. Try to place the strongest paragraphs on the top and the weakest later on. At least up to seven pages you must put strongest paragraph and it is not necessary but if you are writing a long essay at least you must cage the reader for seven pages two to three four five pages paragraph must contain one main idea one single idea no two ideas can be put in a single paragraph you must justify your main idea in a particular paragraph by providing supporting material. Do not attempt to exhaust the topic. Do not give all that might be said. Because things sometimes become irrelevant when you write anything about the topic. Avoid using pronoun I, V because in this case it becomes very much subjective. So try to avoid subjectivity now how to write a paragraph because a body is a combination of a paragraph a full and complete paragraph consists of minimum 8 to 10 it is not a rule but 8 to 10 sentences it can be 20 sentences it can be 8 sentences it can be longer than that as well there must be a topic sentence. The topic sentence reflects which thesis statement point will you be discussing in the paragraph. Then you must prove point by providing proofs to support your topic sentence. So it is like first you present your point, then prove your point by providing proofs and then comment on your proofs. It is three different things. For Providing your point, proving your point, and then commenting on your proofs. This is what a paragraph is. Concluding sentence is the last sentence uh, of the paragraph. 
and uh, this emphasizes is the main point for at last time and the reader comes to know what has been said in the paragraph now, what is conclusion of an essay the conclusion brings together all of the main points of the essay it refers back to the uh, and restate the thesis statement the conclusion leaves the reader with a final thought and a sense of closure by resolving any idea brought up in the essay now conclusion must be very much convincing convincing it must convince is the reader in the end there is a very important rule do not introduce anything in the conclusion because this is the last part of your essay now dear how to construct outline the most important thing an outline is just a general plan uh, of the material that is be to be presented in the essay the outline shows the order of the various topics the relative importance of each and every topic and the relationship between the various parts of your essay first make rough outline at the back of your answer sheet and it will be easy for you to writing an essay then you must give 25 to 40 minutes to construct a proper outline practicing outline is very important because the more you practice outline the more writing will be easy for you because you cover whatever you discuss in your outline look at this outline it is a kind of mind map the topic is the foreign policy of pakistan so you can relate these things it sets up a foreign policy of a nation imbalance for foreign policy of pakistan disadvantages of not having in independent foreign policy military advancement objective of pakistan foreign policy main base of pakistan for what does it mean to other countries and this is free theory of these are different sub topics that you can discuss relevant to this topic of your essay this is a rough outline and you can easily draw out thank you so much for listening this lecture if you have any question you can ask in the comments